Hello, and welcome back to the Slightly Overweight Podcast. So, if you have stumbled upon this somehow through Spotify, YouTube, or Apple, I'm going to get the business out of the way first. In the beginning, if you are able to hit a like button, I need you to hit that button. That's my only requirement. If you're able to hit the subscribe button, I'm going to need you to hit that button. More importantly, though, if you don't want to do any of that, hit the notification button so that whenever I uh, release a new episode, you're notified and you never miss one ever again. Because you're never going to miss one. You're never going to want to miss one. Now that that's out of the way. I'm going to take a sip of water. Some of you may have noticed. Let me zoom in here with the camera so you can notice. I may sound a little richer. I may look a little wealthier. And that is because I have acquired an Apple Watch. Look at this thing, dude. Courtesy of my mother, you may also wonder, Hayden, do you ever purchase your own things? Yes, I do. But I have a very supportive family that um, is very nice to me. And she purchased me this watch and I use it every day. When I'm not at work, because we're not allowed to wear them at work, which is weird, but you get over it. Dumb things like that. <sighs> dude, that's another thing, man. I've been pretty pissed off lately, dude. Not even pissed off, that's not the right word. Just um, utterly fucking gut-wrenchingly angry, dude, about um, jobs, you know. I'm not going to rant about this too long because every fucking 20-year-old, you know, who's in college talks about how much of a scam it is. But, um, yeah, the job search has not been, not been going the greatest, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? That being said, your boy got a job. Huh? You weren't expecting that, were you, dude? Opie, were you expecting that? As he stops licking his butthole just to look at me? Oh, Opie, do you, you want to be on podcast? Well, come on. Come on. Up. Good boy. Face the camera. Yeah, I got a job. Isn't that crazy, dude? I, uh, I should be starting here in the next couple of, of days or weeks or something. It's, uh, it's for a local news station, which is cool. But, you know, it has something to do with cameras. Hopefully. So, this week's been pretty rough on McKinsey and I and Opie, obviously. Lay down, buddy. Lay down. There you go. There you go. Almost. Oh, you're just going to stand? Oh, okay. Lay down. Opie, lay down, buddy. You're just going to... Okay. Well, Opie is the podcast now, obviously. Um, but it's, uh, it's been finals week which has been uh, not the funnest, but also not the worst finals week. Right, McKinsey? Uh, yeah. What was, the, what was the worst finals week we ever had? Freshman year? Freshman year, definitely. Yeah. When we actually had to go in and take our finals in early year. True. I didn't ever have to do the board thing. Bro, it's so awkward. I know. That's so funny. They just give you wood. They're like, here you go. Bitch ass, take your board, go to the sit down. Ugh. So I took that drink of water and shot it back to the back of my throat. And then like, like a wave, I fucking dashed it back over my tongue. I, I would have choked on it, but my, my reflex like spat it back out and we're okay. But Oh, almost drowned there for a second. <sighs> okay, we're good now. But my finals week has been chilling, bro. I'm taking my final one after this, after my final final, um, finally. And then I'll be done. That was kind of a weird thing. Uh, yesterday was my last time I'd ever be in a class as a student um, legally because we're always learning, you know. I'm a lifelong learner. I'm a forever student. And you should be, you know, you should always. I'm a student of life. I'm a fucking inmate of life, bro. No, I didn't say in. Oh, Opie said bread. <laughs> you said what, Mama? Um, no, I'm an inmate, bro. Cause life's a prison sometimes, but sometimes it's not. But back to get on the job thing. I was trying to apply for places in other uh, 
not countries, fucking, yeah, fucking states. And um, countries would be cool, though. Freaking running a news station in, like, Brazil, having no idea what's going on. Just, like, pointing the camera. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Um, that would be cool. But I've been applying to a, a couple of different states for um, anything film-related, literally. Like, anything from working in, like, a major movie studio to um, making content for, like, a waste management facility. Not knocking any waste management facilities, but um, for some reason, all of those pay super well. So I don't really understand um, what's going on there. But there's just not many jobs, dude. And all the jobs I've applied for, I get uh, I get denied on an email. Unfortunately, uh, we seeking candidates with other... Oh, go fuck yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Go fuck yourself. Um... We're seeking a bachelor's, and also we are requiring 50 years of uh, experience in this field as well. Um, oh, okay. Good thing I worked full-time throughout college. Good thing. Oh, that's how it's been the past couple of days, man. But, um, you know, that's me. What about you? How are you, how are you guys doing? Um... Hopefully your job search is going better than mine, you know, if you're in the position to be searching for a job. But McKinsey and I have settled on a location. I'm not going to disclose that yet, but we have a pretty good idea where we're going to move. Until it's completely solidified, I will not reveal that location. But be excited because it's not in Indiana. Boom, isn't that exciting, dude? Um, it is. So here's the thing. It's extremely exciting and also... Um, a little bit, you know, a little bit scary as, as new things are, as changes. But I feel like McKinsey and I, out of all people, are like pretty well adapted to change, to embracing change. Um, right? Yeah. Like, I'd say that we're, if there was a spectrum of one to ten, we'd probably be right around that, like, that's seven, Mark. What we do is we like change. We chill with the change for a couple of years, and then we change again, chill, and then, you know what I mean? Um, there's probably a point where we're like, all right, this is probably the one, but we want to just experience everything. Um, but hopefully we're going to move, like, you know, midsummer or something. Oh, dude! Okay. We fucking watched this movie, dude. McKinsey, plug your ears. I know you're going to hate this. So we watched this movie called Us. And I've had, had it on DVD for the past couple of years. Jordan Peele directed it. It's, just, it's number two on all scary movies, like, lists uh, out of 100 and stuff. It's, like, the top top five for sure. So I was like, all right, I got it on DVD. I've had it for a couple of years. Let's watch it. So we watch it. I kind of understood, like, what it was before we started watching it. But then we started watching it. And um, <laughs> so it's kind of scary. It's like a psychological thriller type thing. And... Um, you don't really know what's going on. But basically, you meet um, the copycat. They call him a shadow. It's like a identical version of yourself. And she's been chasing her her whole life. And I'm expecting, like, some super scary fucking voice or something, bro. Like, because it's, it's been building. To, it's about halfway through the movie, building to this point. And then the camera pans to the, the clone, the person that's been, you know, ominously hanging in the background the past fucking... 50 minutes, and she opens her mouth, and she just goes like this. She goes, I've been searching for you. Just like that, dude. I've been searching for so long. Like some 80-year-old dude, but it's a woman in her 30s, and it's the shadow, and they all talk like that. Like they got fucking punched in the esophagus when they were three years old, dude. The doctor was like, it's a girl. Fucking punch, dude. I've been... I've finally been born. I'm a girl. It just, it caught me so off guard. I just started laughing. And Mackenzie was super into it at this point. And she just gives me the look, you know, like, stop talking to her in the movie because I always talk to her in the movies. And uh, it, it completely took me out of it, dude. Like, it was, I mean, it wasn't scary the rest of the time. Um... But, it, you know, it was a good movie overall, like 9 out of 10 probably. But um, 
that specific choice, I, I know... I know that he was in like a boardroom and they were like, I don't know if, you know, if the voice is exactly what we're looking for. He was like, no, we're keeping the voice because it's fucking unique. And I appreciate and respect that. But me personally, took me out of the movie a little bit. Um, but overall, like, it was a good movie. Um, I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Actually? Let's get, let's get McKenzie's hot take. Yeah. Like it's a psychological thriller. You think it would be like written <clears throat> like mentally. With a bow. Like, yeah. With, well, with like, a bow on the top. Yeah. Like memento. Because yeah, like memento, you have no idea what the fuck is happening yeah. until the end. But once you learn the end, the rest of it makes sense. See, I learned the end of this movie yeah. and it still didn't fucking make sense. Yeah, that's kind of how I felt too. It's like whenever you're drinking a wine and the aftertaste is just a little oh, bitter. <laughs> <laughs> so I was uh, taking this wine class with McKinsey this semester and it was a very easy class. Um, never met in person. All the quizzes were online. You take them at your own pace. And um, at the end, we we're supposed to submit this wine video thing. And fucking... Obviously, I don't pay attention. I don't retain shit, so I didn't know what the fuck I was talking about, but I recorded my video. I finished the video. I'm like, damn, perfect. One take done. I walk into McKinsey. She goes, you know it's supposed to be only a minute 30, right? No, three minutes. Whatever the fuck. Three minutes, right? I was like, no? What the fuck? I just did that shit in four minutes and 30 seconds. And she's like, yeah, it does have to be a little bit shorter. I was going to interrupt you, but I knew you'd get mad. And she was right. I would have got so pissed, but I would have understood. But um, I was so pissed. So I, what I did was sat down. I recorded it again a second time, and it was fucking a minute 40. Perfect, beautiful, bow on the top, icing on the cake, cherry on the fucking milkshake. Look at my camera, and the fucking microphones died. The, the microphones died while I recorded that shit, dude. I'm seething, bro. I was... I was slightly fucking angry in the beginning after the first one. The second one, instantly fucking. What's angry? What's that angry thing? No, fucking instantly Hulk, bro. I was, McKenzie, McKenzie was fucking holding up, holding up bell peppers to my face because of how green I was. Dude, I was fucking hulking that bitch, bro. I was so angry. So I sat down. I collected myself. I recorded the third one. The third one was the fastest and the best one. So I can't even be mad. I made sure that the microphones were on that time. What are you sniffing, bro? Don't forget, Opie is here. You like my hand in your mouth, buddy? You like that? That's not the end of the story. What do you mean it's not the end? You recorded it free and then you don't... Oh, fuck! McKenzie with the fucking... Oh, I forgot the fucking... That's like telling the joke and then forgetting the punchline. So, here's the thing. Recorded it the third time. It was fucking perfect sound. Video. A minute fucking 30. I'm like, Damn. Let's go. Sit down, get a drink, get two drinks, get three drinks, watching a movie, chilling. Forgot to fucking submit it, dude. Forgot to submit the video. So I'm like, ah, no big deal. I'll just submit it late because most things you can just submit fucking late. You just put it in the thing and it just says big red letters fucking late. Whatever. The fucking thing was closed. Could it fucking, could it do it, dude? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, should I take a chance? Email the professor and fucking beg for mercy? Apologize, make up some dumbass excuse? Yes to part of those, but no to a lot of those. What I did was, send him an email, upfront and personal about it. I said, yo, I recorded the video, totally forgot to submit it. That's the honest truth. And I said, if I'm able to receive credit for this, that would be cool. If not, totally understand. I signed it, the dumbest student, comma, Hayden, fucking sent that bitch. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I fucking did. I sent a link to it on a YouTube video too. Not 15 minutes later, my pants are down in the bathroom. I'm leaking into a toilet peeing. Get an email. 100%, bro. 100 fucking percent on that bitch, dude. Really? That bro literally just clicked on the video, went, oh, boop, done. 
I know. Respect that dude 100%. Great job, man. Um, and, you know, it, it's weird not having to go to college no more. <laughs> you know, it's weird. It's a blessing. You know what's weird? Hmm. You got these egg wraps. Those are weird. That's egg? Yeah. Looks like a tortilla. Mm -hmm. Little kid. I don't know if there's a dog or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's that one lady with the two kids. Who walks around in the stroller? Um, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me, dude. Dude, why do kids just run everywhere? Specifically, there's this one kid. McKinsey and I were taking a long walk with Opie. By long walk, I mean around the fucking block for 10 minutes. And, um, like, we're walking past this mother and this, like, f four or five-year-old girl. And she's got these Crocs on that are, like, Three times the size of her feet. They might have been her mom's, but they were like, they look too small. And she just like sprint, yeah, she just sprints past us and just giggles the whole way, laughing, fucking head thrown back, not a care in the world. And I just turned to McKinsey, I was like, damn, that must be nice. And then McKinsey goes, what, to be happy? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's not that we're unhappy, it's just that seems like an almost an intangible amount of happiness and we're pretty happy dude i'd say as couples go as like people go. as peoples <laughs> as pupils i say we're pretty up there we have our fucking downs as people do but we got our ups like a motherfucker most of the time except for when i fucking fold the laundry Even when we're down, we celebrate. true as fuck true as fuck <laughs> um except for whenever i Fold the laundry, but then put McKenzie's clothes in a pile on her side of the bed. You did not do that. <laughs> I, I'll fold them, but I... I don't want you to put them away. You always put them in weird spots. I know. Where's all my stuff? I know. I, I hang the socks up on hangers and shit. Just to fuck with her. <laughs> if you had those one that had the clips on them. But, um... I'm really excited to... We, we just... Well, like... I feel like I feel like we're Lewis and Clark, McKinsey and I. I'm fucking I'm Lewis and she's Clark. <laughs> what? Am I Superman too? Clark Kent. But am I also Superman or I'm just Clark? You just Clark. I said Lewis and Clark. I didn't oh. say Clark Kent, motherfucker. <laughs> Her name's Lewis too. What are you talking about? From Superman. It's Lois, motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Lewis, Lewis Lane. <laughs> Oh, that's funny, bro. You were sitting there. You're, bro. Your brain was astounded. Yeah, You're like, wait a like, second. Lois, Lewis, whatever. That's so funny, bro. But am I Superman? Bro, the look I gave you, I was like, the fuck? <laughs> am I Sacagawea? He did? <laughs> um, that's funny, dude. Why am I Clark? What do you mean? I think Lewis is the one that kills himself after they get back. I didn't know anybody killed himself. What? You didn't know that? They went on this huge expedition across the entire United States after the Louisiana Purchase was purchased by Thomas Jefferson for about two cents per acre. <sighs> Had to flex that knowledge the on you. The only knowledge from any schooling ever that you remember? It might have been less, actually. It might have been 50 cents per acre or some, Or maybe like $50. I don't know. Well, less than 100 bucks per acre. It was some crazy amount. They went on this huge expedition um, with them and Sacagawea as the guide because she was obviously native to the land and shit. And it's about four years or some shit they go on this. This is all incorrect as well. Don't ever quote this to anybody else. They went on a trip for four years to the West. They came back and, um, yeah, it turns out that either Lewis or Clark, one of the two, I'm going to go ahead and guess it was it was Lewis Merriweather, Merriweather or whatever the fuck his name was. And, um, yeah, he just went home. No, that's Floyd Mayweather. But um, he went home. He had a couple of kids and shit, but he uh, actually had depression. And I don't know how he killed himself, but he, he did. And it's very sad to think about, but, um, yeah, McKinsey and I, Lewis and Clark, we're about to start this expedition funded by, you know, the United States government to, um, you figuring it out? You Googling it? Oh, his first name's Meriwether. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. Yeah. Beautiful first name. Okay. Let's see, McKinsey's doing the Google search. Uh, Mayweather? Don't tell me it was Clark. Lewis? Yeah, he died first because he killed himself. So it's a speculation if he was murdered or committed suicide. Almost like Edgar Allan Poe. 
Dude, I would love to do history podcast. That'd be so crazy. Here's quick. No, I know, right? Quick history. Fucking uh, Edgar Allan Poe. Basically became a writer. Was you know somewhat fucking known, and um, was known for being a drunk and writing very scary stories. But then he woke up in a fucking or no, sorry, he was found dead in a fucking ditch, man. He's found dead in a ditch on the side of the road in some random ass fucking town, bro. Nobody knows if he was killed, if he just fell and fell asleep and then died. But he died at like 40 or something. There you go. Google that shit. But, um, McKinsey and I, Lewis and Clark, are at the start of this expedition into the unknown. Sacagawea was not 14. Oh, she was young. No. Opie is our Sacagawea. <laughs> Sacagawea. Oh, Opie. Oh. You like the podcast, buddy. Oh. 16. 16. Holy fuck. Imagine being 16. Bro, what was I doing when I was 16? Yeah, she gave birth during the expedition. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, wow. What strength. I can't even fucking shit. Like, mm-hmm. in a public restroom, let alone have a... She she went by choice. Really? Yeah. She was like helping them. Um I can barely shit in a public restroom, let alone give birth on a fucking expedition in some land you don't know, you know? With two dudes watching you? You know? Like, you guys watch me all the time. <laughs> you even pick it up. <laughs> Bro, his hairs in my nose. Opie, I need to know how much time I have left. <laughs> I hope you don't get mad at me. Alright, Opie. Time to get down. There you go. Oh! What it is to be free. But yeah, we're about to go somewhere really cool. And um, we're not students anymore. How do you feel about that, Mackenzie? I don't know what to do with it. I know. I was sitting here today. I joked with her because Mackenzie and I were watching this TV show called Suits. And um, I had gotten off work a little bit early. But whenever that happens, I typically have to like get ready. So I got up and I made a joke and I said, Alright, I'm going to class. But there is no class. Opie, there is no class. Right after this, right after I get done recording this podcast, I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to finish my final for a science class, and then I'll be done. Science. That's what it is. Movie class. It's fucking geosciences in the cinema. Science as fuck. How do you feel about not being a student? All I know is that even though you are slightly overweight, Mackenzie I, OP comment, still love you. Don't matter what you weigh, don't matter what ethnicity you are, what your religion is, what your gender is, or, is or what your race is, because that's different as well. I'm a 5K. Huh? What'd you say? A 5K, what do you mean? Uh, <laughs> I'm a 100 meter sprint. That'd be funny. But um, are people who hate racing, are they racist? That's the question. I don't like to race. I do like racing. But I Mackenzie and like I... Racing. Mackenzie like ra- Yeah, okay. Well, like, that's a weird time that we're in right now. Yeah, I know. I wonder how long our time is going to last. Like, our weird time. Like, when is, when is our fucking 1969 Summer of Love fucking... That shit's got to happen soon, dude. We got to have that shit. We're planning that shit. Once they legalize weed, dude, it's game over, dude. I'm just saying. That'd be... Bro, remember remember Prohibition? Yeah. Might as well do cocaine while they're at it. Legit, yeah, no, for real. DMT. <laughs> yeah, they should, I mean, legalize marijuana or whatever. I don't know. Fucking just let people do stuff. I don't know. Don't do fucking, you know. Don't do, don't fucking burglarize things, but you know. Burglarize? Yeah, burglarize. Burglarize. Stop. Don't even get it. <laughs> Whenever McKinsey breaks words down, it just doesn't fucking work. Yeah? <laughs> Burglar, bur- bourgeoisie is right. Bourgeoisie. Booga. Booga. <laughs> um, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Oh, fuck. No, it's a shark with charcuterie. <laughs> fuck <laughs> me. Pull it up real quick. Pull it up real quick. How much time do I 
Uh, we got a minute, a uh, minute and a half. Oh God. You're good. Uh, Mackenzie and I were um, having a lot of fun one night. We were trying to figure out. I knew the word, and uh, I said it, and then she just looks at me. And she goes, "No, that's not how you say it." <laughs> so I said travesty, which is a real fucking dictionary fucking word. And she said, tra travesty? You mean trad? Do you mean to say trad? Trad? Tradidi? Tragedy. Tragedy. And, uh. Travesty. Here, wait. Here's her exact words. No, it's a travesty. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, we can't put that part in there. Okay. All right. Well, uh, fuck me. Well, yeah. Yep. Mackenzie's very bad at words, obviously, as you can tell. But, you know, there's improvement on all sides that we can work on. And um, educate yourself. Go to college. Graduate. And then move somewhere cool. Um, but, yeah, dude, you know, we, we love everybody on this podcast. And if, if you did stick it out to this long... I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. Um, I hope that your family's doing well. I hope that you're doing well. If you're not thriving right now, you know, that's something you can work on. Maybe you need to stop um, being on TikTok as much. You know, maybe set a one-hour limit, which is what I've had to do. And then hit ignore. And then hit ignore. But even though you slightly overweight, we love you. Have a great day.